Hello friends, it's Saturday and today I'm bringing you part 7 of my Spawn Room Zombies Challenge. Uh, I think I should be doing this more consistently, honestly. I believe I could definitely upload one of these per day. I definitely know that won't be possible because I'm, I don't know if I have what I need to record because sometimes I may be gone off somewhere for a few days. But I can try to be as consistent as I can anyway. But the thing is, yeah, recording this video doesn't take long since it is the spawn room after all and won't be oh, long playing, for years. really. Never tasted but anything that fishy. anyway, yeah, as we can tell, we're uh, playing as JFK, which is uh, pretty cool. Definitely one of the most liked US presidents, I believe. I'm not quite sure. I remember hearing a lot of good stuff about Abraham Lincoln and JFK. But... My favourite character to play in this map is actually, um, what's his name, Richard Nixon. I used to hate him so much, but for whatever reason, I just really like playing as him now. I used to find him really annoying, but now he sounds like a funny cartoon character, and he just cracks me up every single time. Okay, that is round. I was considering opening one of the doors, but I forgot. I can't do that. I'm an idealist. But I don't think I'll be playing very long in this. I will not survive even 10 minutes. I might even get two zombies videos out today if I'm lucky. <laughs> I don't know why that would make me lucky, but you know yourself. I'm trying to remember what's the next map I'm going to be doing. Oh, it will be Black Ops 1 Nocturne Totem, that's right. In order of... Wait, no, it wouldn't be. No, no. If I want to do them in order of release, it's Ascension. Yeah, Ascension. Ascension will be interesting because it's a giant microphone. Nobody thinks it looks like a microphone. It looks like a microphone. It literally does. It's, like, large at the top and round and then the handles... You know, you know what I mean? It literally is a microphone. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that I'm correct. Jeez. Huh. Understatement of the century. Understatement of the century. Some of JFK's quotes are good. Some aren't quite so good, but I love the one where he says, Do I look like a guy with a foot fetish? <laughs> oh, God. Yeah, now that I think of it, I kind of should have kept restarting the game until I got Richard Nixon, but what have you? I am all that stands between the dead and the White House. One more round down. God, each round is gonna feel like a milestone. I guess that's the right way to put it, milestone. Also, one more thing about this map is certain barriers just never get breached. For some reason, it's not all of them that get breached. They'll never all get breached straight away. Or in one game, I think. I'm not sure if it changes when you leave the spawn room. But it seems like certain barriers just never open. And that is an interesting bit of RNG when it comes to training, because in the high rounds, the high round strategy on this map, you're literally in this spawn room with the awful laden, which sounds really scary. Kind of, kind of, um, makes you realize how hard 5 truly is. Like, I always found 5 to be a hard map, but with all the other zombies maps I've played since, I first played 5 because 5 is my second ever zombies map. I'm realizing how different 5 really is. So there are much harder maps, but 5 is by far one of the hardest, at least in BO1. Uh, I'll be honest, Nocturne Totem. Nocturne Totem in uh, BO1 is harder, in my opinion. And it, uh, I'm going to be honest, I used to think BO1 Noct was the hardest zombies map of all time. I used to think that, but now I actually think it's Bus Depot from BO2. Probably. Probably that map. I actually don't think I've ever played a map harder than Bus Depot. When it comes to just surviving simply. Like I'm telling you, I can get to a higher round on starting room on a lot of maps. 
than just bust people in general, which is kind of sad. <laughs> it's not sad. It just puts things into pers perspective, I guess. Of Could you be so unhelping? These. Yeah, this fire just won't reach for some reason. I mean, go ahead, zombies. I'm not scared. I mean, I, I'm not really. I'm not really scared. I'm more just wanting to stay alive. It's like a fly. I'm not scared of flies. I just don't like when they get near me. I'm really impressed at how well I'm doing so far. Woo! Round of applause for me. Oh, no ammo. Also, earlier today I was trying to this cool challenge. Now I don't know who came up with the idea, but I first seen it from a zombies YouTuber by the name Marsh. And it's basically called the ABC123 challenge. And pretty much what you gotta do is each round corresponds to a number. So, yeah, you know, each round corresponds to a letter, yeah. And so if you're on round one, you have to use a weapon that has the number one or the letter A in its name. Which is pretty interesting and, and so on, you know? So if you're on round three, you have to have a weapon that has the number three or the letter C in its name. And it's quite cool. Frag grenades technically count, since they are a weapon that do have letters in the name. But... It's a really interesting challenge. I was trying it on... Fuck! I was trying it on uh, Town Survival earlier. And I don't think it's a very practical map to do that challenge. I feel... Die Rise, because he was playing it on Die Rise and Transit. And buried especially. Buried to be very fun for that challenge, because you've all the chalk and everything. But the hardest thing about it is round 10. Because on round 10, there's very, very... I don't even think there's a single weapon that has the number 10 in its name. And there's only one weapon in BO2 with the letter J in its name, and it's the upgraded executioner with with the name Voice of Justice. I don't even think there's any staffs in BO2 or anything like that that have J in its name. Well, Sick of Fire has Q, but that is a rare letter in English, but you know, it's not as rare, I guess, in terms of BO2 weapons, because BO2 weapons there's only one letter with J. Letter with J? I can't even speak. Yo, buddy, I'll message you there in a moment. I'm kind of overrun by zombies there. How am I alive? Oh my god, I didn't even buy quick revive. Okay, now I'm really impressed with myself. Now I deserve a pat on the back. Oh my god, look at this. A little revive. Okay. Fair enough. I could have killed them. With uh, too much difficulty, I feel like, but I just didn't want to have no quick revive, but uh, I guess things like that just do happen. Anyway, I had a lot of fun with that, and I hope you had fun watching, and I'll see you guys in the very next video. Bye-bye!